How to customize the Shopify origin theme. Now the origin theme basically is a great stylish theme that primarily can be used for one product stores, but you can actually also use this to sell multiple products. And I will show you all of the different customization options in this video. So to get started, let's actually just head back to this and then click on try theme right here. This will then automatically add the origin theme onto your Shopify dashboard so that you can then later on actually customize this. Now, as for this video, I'm then just going to click on customize right here. So make sure to just click on here to actually open up the Shopify editor. Now, this editor, I guess, can be a little bit complicated when first getting started. So let me actually explain everything in detail. Now, basically, we do have all of the different elements right here, and we can just select each of these to then edit them. So you are going to have all of the different customization options right here on the right. And on the left, you are going to see a general overview of all of the different elements inside your websites and all of the different sections and blocks inside your website. Now, right here on top, you are going to have a navigations bar where you can basically navigate through all of the different sites within your homepage. And then you can basically customize each of these. So for example, if you do want to um, actually customize the product page, we could do so by then just navigating to this right here. However, I will just head back to the homepage. And then on the top right, we can then actually change the view of our store. Now, this is super important because nowadays, most people are actually primarily using their mobile device to actually shop so it, make, it actually makes a lot of sense to fully optimize your store for mobile as well and not just for desktop only so let's get started let's actually go through this from top to bottom now let's get started with the announcement bar right here basically this announcement bar is a great way to put out some incentivizes some special offers on why people should buy right now and maybe you can put out a special discount right now so i guess i will just select the announcement bar right here and then i'm going to change the text to minus 20 percent off until I, I don't know tomorrow i'm just making figures up right now and then we can actually link this to a certain page within our site so in this case it would make the most sense to actually link this to the all products tab so that when someone is going to click on this they're then going to be redirected to all of our products so that they can then actually buy something off our store but for now i will actually head back to the home page Let's now get to the header part. Now, as you can see right here, by default, we don't, our, we don't actually have our logo set up. And to change this, we do actually want to head to the theme settings right here. Now, basically these theme settings kind of work as the default for all across your website. So if you are going to change things right here, this is automatically going to be updated across all of your different sites. So to get started, just head to logo right here, then click on select image and either just select the logo or just upload your logo right here. So in my case, I'm just going to upload this plain Krause logo right here. We can then play around with the desktop logo width, so basically the size, if we do want to. I'm not just going to leave it at the default right now. And then we will also have to add the favicon image. Now, I would actually highly recommend you to do this uh, because basically with this, um, you, this is just going to be the icon on top of all of your sites. And this is just going to help you to kind of build up a more professional field. Um, now, basically with this, this is going to be scaled down to 32 times 32 pixels. Um, so maybe just upload a minimalistic low version of your logo and so on. Now let's actually continue with colors right here. Uh, basically Shopify, in my opinion, usually does a pretty good job with this, but you can basically just choose any of these color schemes. You can edit them or you can also add a new scheme onto this. Now one tool that actually works pretty good with this uh, is this coolest.co, colors.co tool. And basically with this, you can generate all sorts of different color palettes. And um, now some of these aren't going to be really good, but either way, this is actually going to, this can actually give you guys some ideas on which colors you could use for your website. Um, and usually this actually does a pretty good job. I will leave you a link for this down below. So let's now actually continue with this. You can then actually further customize this by adding a custom font onto this, by changing the headings font right here, for example. But in general, you won't actually need most of these settings. So therefore I'm actually going to not co continue going over this. 
By the way, you can right now get completely free access to my comprehensive Shopify beginner course by using the link down below. This will also grant you access to a community with hundreds of like-minded people so that you can grow together. So make sure to check that out if you want to. I'm rather going to head to sections back right here and then we can actually get started customizing everything on our homepage. So let's get started with this rich text heading element right here. So to customize it, just select it and then head to the right right here. And then you can put in all sorts of different things. So in this case, uh, let's just say that we are going to uh, say that we're going to build up a clothing company. In this case, I'm just going to put in shop or newest fits. Once again, just an example, uh, I just want to make this as easy as possible for you guys. And then we can change the overall heading size. We do have multiple different options. In general, as for the origin theme, I mostly just leave this at extra large because I think it actually looks by far the best like this. Then we have our feature product section right here. Now, basically with this, uh, you will just have to click on select product right here on the top right to actually select a product that you want to highlight right here. Once again, keep in mind, this is your homepage. So in this case, I guess I would then just highlight this relaxed fit t-shirt so that everyone is then going to see this and they can then get an idea on why they should actually buy this. Now, basically uh, right here, we do then have a image banner. Now, if you do want to add basically edit the section, you can add some images right here on the top right. Or if you actually do want to delete this, you can do so by simply just clicking on this pin icon right here. And now this actually got deleted. All right, perfect. Now, if you do want to rather add some new sections onto this, I mean, you can just always use this plus icon right here. And then you're going to have a preview of all sections, or you can just head on the left right here. And you can then basically go ahead and add sections right here. Now, basically Shopify uh, by default allows you to add all sorts of different useful sections. Like for example, this multi-row section is great to, uh, I guess, just highlight multiple products. This email signup section uh, works great for email marketing, contact form for leads and so on. And now basically uh, one, one section which I want to highlight would be this, this multi-column section right here. Basically, this is super useful and um, to add all sorts of different unique selling points or to also actually add some reviews onto this. So we could then actually change this heading right here, maybe to something like don't just take our word. And then we can uh, actually add some um, testimonials right here. So let's just say that this first testimonial is, I don't know, John B. And then they said um, that jogger was super good okay i'm obviously just making things up right now and we could then actually instantly add a link label onto this so basically because this review right here talks about the jogger it would make quite a lot of sense to then just say something like shop or newest joggers and we could then actually add a link to this which would then obviously be our let me actually find this, which would then be our joggers product page. Then click on save. And if we're now going to click on shop or newest joggers right here, this is automatically going to redirect us to the joggers page. Now, if you do want to customize this, basically this is going to be the same procedure all over again. You can just go to the right, customize everything to your likings, and you can add new sections right here on the left. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and check out my free resources down below to supercharge your Shopify journey.